like to call this meeting of the Community Preservation Act Committee to order at 6.02 p.m. on Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. Uh, pursuant to the governor's emergency orders during the pandemic, we are not allowed to meet in person, so we are meeting remotely, and this meeting is being recorded. So first, I'd like to take attendance, make sure everybody can hear and be heard. So let's see, Sam McLeod. Here. And you are representing... At large. You are at large. Thank you. Diana. Thank you, everyone. Diana Stein here, representative at large. Thank you. David. Hello. Dave Williams from the Housing Authority. Yes. Anna. Hi, Anna Devlin Gothier, Conservation Commission. Thank you. Robin. Hi, Robin Fordham, Historical Commission. Andrew. Andrew McDougall, planning. And I'm Sarah Marshall, uh, representing the Lee's LSSE, soon to be, or maybe already, Amherst Recreation. Uh, so we are missing Sarah. Uh, Sarah's in the audience. She just needs to be bumped in. Oh, OK. Thank you. Here she comes. <laughs> there we go. Great. Thanks for that. So give, hi. hi Sarah, how are you? <laughs> Good, I was just, I didn't understand that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, so. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Sarah Isinger and with, uh, yes, plus one, yeah. also <laughs> at large. <laughs> Very <laughs> at large, little, yeah, right. little Mike, Micah. All right, so we hope, hi, we hope Katie Allen Zobel will. Katie, Katie, I think I just got a message from her that says she's here too. <laughs> also in the waiting Maybe. room? Yep. Um, I know sometimes if I'm accidentally still signed in with my work Zoom, I have to, like, it doesn't put are me you, automatically. Yes, um, maybe type in Q&A. Are you Community Foundation of Western Mass or are you bruh? <laughs> there's two people raising their hands. Uh, I would assume she's Community Foundation. I, Foundation. So, yes. uh, I, don't, I don't want to make any I don't want to let both people in now. If she <laughs> is, not I don't know who is. Right. So. She says CFW. Yeah. want to confirm i'm here <laughs> hi katie hi <laughs> so i i clicked on your link anthony i i don't I, I this happens to me every single meeting so i must be doing something wrong i apologize i keep i'm in the waiting room katie it's because you're signed i think you're signed into zoom through your work account um and so at least that's what happens to me is okay. is i have to sign completely out of zoom and sign back in with with the email that um the agenda gets sent to. Got it. Yeah, that would, that you know, would probably maybe, be it. It might be the same problem, I'm not sure. Okay, all right, wonderful. Then uh, everybody is here and you know, we can proceed. The first order of business is to choose a minute taker. Oh, this should not be too onerous a meeting. I wonder, Sam, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. We're, uh, we're back at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, just about. Okay. Just about. All right. Sam, uh, do, do you want me? Did you already do it? Do you want me to do it? Uh, I did it back once. I thought you did it recently. It'd be fine for you to do it if you wish. I did not do it. I'm, oh. I'm not. I'm not. I yeah, feel that, like I need to do my duty. But yes, that that I would be glad for you to do it. Okay. Because I got okay. lots of questions. This is this is good, <laughs> definitely good to switch over. Yeah, I have a lot of questions too. So we'll see how I can do. <laughs> Need them translated too. All right. So, uh, Katie, do you want a um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, I have I have the meeting the framework. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me just note that. Okay. So, if you're ready, we will proceed um, with public comment. If there is anyone present who wishes to speak for no more uh, than three minutes. Uh, so someone just typed in Q&A that they wish to speak and I said public comment is just about to come up, but they've now left the meeting. Yeah. There are now no attendees in the meeting. There's one, a, an answered question, I guess. I don't know, that bro one? Yeah, I just, I, I, yeah. Yeah, I just answered it in text that public comment was coming up, but if they come back, perhaps we'll offer sure. them the opportunity again. 
Okay. Can, can I ask if there are any other staff present besides Anthony? Uh, Holly um, and John are here. Okay. Thank you. All right. Yes, if uh, any members of the public appear, um, we will make time for comment. Okay, so we do have one set of draft minutes to review from Andy. Thank you very much. These are the minutes of our meeting of November 12th. Did we ever approve the minutes that I did way back and people wanted to um, have more time to read them according yes, we did. Yes, we did. I am confident that we did. <laughs> um, I, because I've checked I off, I've checked off on a calendar when, you know, that, so. Well, I'm going by, by what Andy had in the minutes. Yeah. Which, but there is a meeting subsequent to that. So I haven't, I haven't got gotten mine out yet. I'm sorry. This week kind of swallowed me whole. So I'm digging my way out. I'm sorry. I will get them out to everybody at some point. Me too. Anthony, do you know, did the minutes I did on, um, I think October 22nd, did they ever really get approved? I, according to Andy's minutes, they were not. They were- Andy's, Andy's minutes are from two meetings ago. All exactly. right, so after that it was. Yes. I believe, I believe that's the case. Yeah. I keep I keep a checklist myself, but I don't keep it on my laptop. I keep it on, on my- Well, I've got a uh, physical it one, network, right? So. My understanding right. is the same as Sarah's, that they were approved with possible minor edits to be communicated to Anthony. Yeah. And I'm assuming that the minutes of November 19th will reflect that. Yes. Okay. All right, so if we can turn to the minutes of November 12th, uh, I hope, I trust everyone's prepared to uh, act on these. Mm -hmm. uh, again, looking for substantive comments if you had, you know, formatting or other small changes, spelling, please send those directly to Anthony. So I, do, I already have a few. So. Okay. So right. I, I wait, I, I will first move and second, and then we can talk about them. So I move that we accept the minutes of November 12th, 2020. Is there a second? I second it. Thank you, Diana. Okay, does anyone wish to amend them or alter them in a substantive way? So many people, I don't see you. So I don't know how I'm gonna know if you, <laughs> I guess you just have to unmute yourself and speak up. Did there, so there's question? a button in the top right that should all switch between speaker and gallery. All right, if you're on desktop. Yeah, no, I just mean in the past, people have raised their hands physically and I could see them, but some people have video off. So oh, I see, I'm sorry. So I can't I, see. I misunderstood you, sorry. Yeah. I only found one minor thing, which is somebody to second the adjournment motion at the end. I don't know, recall who did minor. If no one remembers right now, I'll just check the video and add it. I think there was a, I think there were many seconds, so yes. you pretty much pick one, yeah. <laughs> pick one yeah. of us, and no one will object. I'll have to consult my Robert's rules, but I don't even think <laughs> I don't even think I don't even think adjourning requires a motion. Actually, yeah, I was I was wondering that too. Really? Okay. Least, or because we're yeah, we certainly didn't do a roll call vote. I can say that. <laughs> Anthony, tomorrow or later tonight, I will send you my minor, very minor corrections to Andy's minutes. Okay. All right. So one more time, does anybody have any substantive alteration? No? No. All right. Then we do need to have a roll call vote. This will be to accept the minutes with the minor corrections that have been for or will shortly be forwarded to Anthony. Sam? Aye. Diana? Aye. David? Aye. Sarah Isinger? Aye. Katie? Aye. Robin? Aye. Anna? Aye. Andrew? Aye. And Sarah Marshall? Aye. So that is unanimous. Thank you. All right. Uh, has anyone appeared for public comment? Nope, still zero. No, still just 12 of us. OK. Uh, Anthony, or is there any financial update? Uh, review? Nope, no changes Maybe to no? finances that I'm aware of. 
Holly, you didn't find another two hundred thousand dollars <laughs> for us. <laughs> uh, no, we have not found any additional money. Not yet. No. See, <laughs> see, your view. Did such a good job. We're gonna just keep counting on you. All right. Uh, in that case, we will go to the draft reports. You sh there are two, again, because they address decisions uh, for two different fiscal years. So the first one is the um, special report to the town council for fiscal year 2021, the very short one pertaining to the um, recommendation that the town borrow $800,000 for this land purchase that the Amherst Housing Trust, Affordable Housing Trust, I guess, is still negotiating or hope, hoping to land. All right. So, um, Anthony, will will we need a formal motion to approve these reports? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Last year, Nate and I just kind of did them. Um, but, <laughs> but last year, but but last year was a weird year. Um, well, this is yeah. This one's pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I, I think traditionally we have, but okay. Or, well, or we no, might. I mean, holy, holy, we might holy, as well. I mean, we, I guess we might as well. So yeah. starting with um, the the very brief cover page, um, can I just throw out? I would I would reorder uh, that these are addressed. This is addressed to the town manager and then to the town council and then to the town council finance committee since it's a committee of the council. Fair enough. Any other comments on this cover letter? All right, then turning to the report itself, would anyone like to, anyone have any comments, text, um, suggestions, Diana? Yeah, I do, and I'm just trying to figure out how it's labeled. Um, I am trying to pull it up. Just give but, me give me a break. Um, um, I, I could share, I could put it up on screen if you if no, that's it's all right. I've got it. Um, I um, no, that's something else. <laughs> Sorry, I will get it. Just give me a minute. Um, because if I don't have it in front of me, I'm not going to know what I thought should be changed. I will and reiterate I my offer to throw it on screen. <laughs> Or, or yeah, well, the problem, maybe someone else has something in the meantime uh, and I'll find it. Okay. I, I had a question, yeah. um, Sarah. Just, I was wondering whether uh, we had heard anything back relative to the status of, of the project. I have not. And Dave and John said they'd email us all if they knew anything. So I assume there's no- I will tell you that, okay. I will tell you that this week we did secure an appraiser for the property. So okay. we are going to have somebody appraise it. Okay, so oh. I'm looking at the uh, report to the town council, Community Preservation Act Committee report to the town council. That's what we're discussing, right? For 2021, right? Special uh, report. 2021. Uh, okay, I, I have for 2022. So go ahead and do the other. <laughs> okay, does anyone else have I have some suggestions, but uh, anyone else, please go ahead. No? All right, then I'll just lay mine out. In the first paragraph, <laughs> the last sentence, it says, it is clear that this valuable project, I would say, may not be accomplished. Okay. And, and I would end that the town must act quickly, must act excuse me, must be able to act quickly, period. Okay. Anybody else? Nope. Okay, this next pair. Sarah, Sarah yeah. sorry, I'm sorry. Please. I have a point of clarification on the minutes. Um, do you feel that it needs to be reflected all of the changes to the um, Reports to, to these reports. No, if we're going to vote on it, okay. No, okay. I just, just say sure. you know. Yeah. The just, committee just members, sure. yeah. committee members suggested changes to yeah. the text. That's, that should do. Less okay. is more. 
All right. So under. Um, so this, I just, all right, Anthony, could you put up what we're <laughs> discussing because I'm a little confused as usual. Um, I didn't see, yeah, I didn't see this one somehow. They were in the same email. Really? Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Okay, the same email as the one for FY22. Yep, that's I right. sent them together. They're and both together. In the agenda. Or... All right. All right. In the second, in under rationale, I would suggest altering the second sentence. I, I would strike the first half of it and write, in order oh. to, let me just re maybe read it first, but whatever. In order to enable the AMAHT to move rapidly to acquire property. <clears throat> yeah, that sentence is left over from last year. Special yeah, then go right on to the CPAC considered this application. Yeah. Yeah, that is a good change. And that's all I had, so. So Diana, you didn't see this one. No, I, I confess okay. I did not. I <laughs> right. somehow had two copies of 22, but not, not FY21. Don't ex ask me why. All right. OK, then Sam, yes. Just a, a question or a comment. The community housing where it describes a proposal um, says this proposal seeks funding for the acquisition and development of land for affordable housing purposes. Uh, I don't recall that the actual proposal referenced that and I know that they provided updated information. Uh, we, I wonder if we should include anything that says this, the, this proposal and subsequent updates seeks to because if the council received the initially submitted proposal applications. I don't think that it was to purchase land specifically. It was talking about East Street and things, uh, general funding. Uh, I'm sure they'll understand the intent, but I'm wondering if we might add this proposal, this uh, updated proposal. Or Update, this proposal updated, was updated during, yeah, updated during a presenta the presentation. Yeah. Or this this proposal as submitted and updates, something to that effect uh, to reflect what we voted on. That's a good point. Anthony, I know the website gives all the proposals as submitted, but I think that any updates are only included in packets and, and so nobody would know where to look. Is it? Yeah, I, should, I, can, I, I can add them back to the main page. That probably makes the most sense. Or even there, were a, lot, there were a lot more updated. revisions this year than previous years. Even so. referencing that it was verbally updated and communicated during the meeting, just something that indicates such uh, for their clarification. I'm sure they'll understand it nonetheless, but I think it would be uh, more precise. Well, I, I think I would say, not say as submitted, I mean, as updated. Uh, and subsequent updates, I think sounds yeah, good. Like said that. that. And yeah, su subsequently yeah. updated. Yeah. That's that's fine. Thank you for that. Okay. Any other comments on this one? All right, would somebody move to accept this report then as amended? I so move. Thank you, Diana. Is there a second? We'll give it to Robin. Robin, thank you. <laughs> All right, then we'll have a roll call vote. Um, uh, we are voting whether to approve the special report to the town council for FY 2021. Sam. Aye. Diana. Aye. Dave. 
Dave Williams. Aye. Thank you. Katie. Aye. Robin. Robin. <laughs> Aye. We'll get the hang of this. Okay, Anna. Aye. Andrew. Aye. And Sarah Marshall. I miss Sarah Ising. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I. You okay? And Sarah Marshall is I. Okay. I hope that was everybody. All right. Super. Um, so now we can turn to the <clears throat> draft report to town council for fiscal 20. Oh, it doesn't actually say in on the report title, but that's fine. 2022. Yeah, so, so yeah we, were, we formatted them differently. Maybe I should consult and make that consistent. I, well, it's in, I see it's in the subtitle there. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, I updated the uh, salutation here to match the last one. Actually, okay. actually, if I may. Um, so I did get some comments during the week. So there's a couple of corrections to what was emailed to you. Um, this balance here uh, was incorrect. So that's been updated. Um, this, uh, this balance here was using last year's number in for FY22. So that's been updated. And the administrative expense was wrong here. It was 20, said 20 instead of 25. So that has been updated. And am I right in thinking that the yellow are items we still need to finalize? Right. So maybe we should, should we take those up first? It's up, up to you, I think. Uh, that makes the most sense. Yeah, well, so let's resolve this about 12 were submitted in this first 12 proposals were submitted. One was ineligible, one was withdrawn and nine, that makes 11. So there's one not accounted for. Right, and so are we just calling Mill River rejected? I, we tabled that motion at the last meeting, so. I I, okay, so let me, before we yeah. finish that, let me update then the committee. Um, uh, so the Mill River History Trail team wants to uh, develop a revised proposal and bring it back in January. And I've said, I will try to call a meeting to make that happen. Um, if they can first run it by the CPA coalition and the historic commission and anybody else and satisfy eligibility concerns, okay, then, then we can take it up at a, at a brief or at a meeting. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I did say that even though we could, we could act on it, we, can, we don't control town council's you know, agenda. So, that's that part is out of our hands. So we can, so one option for us is just to not act on it yet because we believe it will be revised. Okay, but I would like it to add up to 12. And <laughs> I, I, if I were on the council, that right. would be a question that would come immediately to my mind, where is the 12th? Well, I'm not going to leave it unaddressed. It's right, right. The question is, how? What do we want to do? Do we we could reject it, but let them submit a new one, or we can well, just not act on it until we get a. No, I, Sarah, I understood all yeah, that. But yeah. the question is, I thought that rejected as ineligible was referring to Mill River. No, if, that that was a different proposal. Okay, well, that's what wasn't clear to me. Right, but we still do need it to add up to 12. So the, the, the issue is, what do we say about the, this 12th one that we've taken? Sam, what do you think? Well, if I hear you correctly, you're communicating that they have essentially withdrawn it with a request to resubmit it. Am I wrong? I, I don't know, they, they're gonna revise it. <laughs> I mean, we've had lots of, lots of proposals that were revised without being formally withdrawn so and I would suggest then that we not reject it uh, and we simply indicate that we have not uh, acted upon it at this time due to a request from the applicant 
Yeah, we could say it's tabled pending yeah. a revised proposal. I think that that is, I, I like that idea, Sam, yes. Okay. Also, could, could you please tell me which one was rejected as ineligible? The Amherst Historical Society uh, proposed uh, a CPA funding their legal fees. Uh, we rejected that before I think it ever even made its way to the committee. Okay. No, that, well, no, because I. Or did it? Or did there. It yeah, that's program. why I knew about it. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, 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 never got, it never got posted, but I, I, yeah. Okay. That's why I was confused. Right. So I thank you for that. All right. So I think we've dealt with that bit of yellow. Rejected by whom? Uh, it's a report yeah. from the committee. So uh, I don't think we rejected it, correct? No, towns, no, it's Sonia, I mean, it's town staff, Sonia knows it's ineligible on its face. So, it, it, yeah. Oh, but then we, it, have pre, we have a previous ruling from the CPA Council from 20. I, I, hold yeah. on, Diana. Let, let the Anthony finish, please. We have, we have a previous ruling from the CPA Coalition from 2016 when they proposed essentially the same thing. And uh, it, it's it's not an allowable expense. It was cut from the proposal I, yeah, in 2016. There was 2016. There were three pieces to it, and one of them was the legal costs, and it was cut and removed from that proposal in 2016 as being ineligible. I got it. I my point really is I'm still trying to get how you add get 12. One of which, you know what I mean? It wasn't something we saw as a 12th proposal. Can we, but it had a number. And it was, right. Can we say oh. it was it was submitted, but not reviewed? I mean, this is submitted and reviewed. Well, it was reviewed by town staff. And so it, I guess that's up to, I guess that's up to you guys, you guys. I mean, they were, it was submitted. They, Anthony made them all available on like some FTP site before. I mean, I got it. I, I got the it thing. too. So maybe it never made it, maybe it disappeared shortly thereafter, but it was submitted. It this was whole submitted. sentence is in the passive voice. So it's not saying who, who did what really, you it's know? Saying we reviewed it, which doesn't sound like, I, I wasn't part of the committee at that time, but it doesn't sound like I'm hearing that we all reviewed it and voted. So. Yeah, can I say maybe to, to Sam's point, and I guess sort of everyone, 12 proposals were submitted. One was rejected as ineligible by town staff. By staff. 11 were reviewed by the committee. Like we just sort of changed the sequence there and, and then also call out, I think it's a good point, Sam, to call out that the rejection was not by this committee. It was, it was ha happened in advance. I like that. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Yeah, because we, we rendered no opinion on it, even though clearly we would, <laughs> but we didn't. Yeah, we would have agreed, but still. Yes. Then but how about- that, Not even reviewed by the committee, just a Andy's comment, plus that yeah. sounds good, well, Andy. Folks, I think I need to ask everybody to be raising hands again. We're having more crosstalk tonight. So can we say nine are recommended? Because that's what we're doing in this report. We're recommending it right now. I mean, recommending them right now. Can you take that away, please? Thank you. Sam? Um, prior to our confirming that, I have one other project in question uh, before we get the numbers of approved and not approved, which is the North Amherst a school roof. We tabled it at the time, pending potential information from the town. Sonia subsequently referenced that she didn't think uh, that it might be eligible, but we didn't actually uh, discuss and vote on that further. So is that, you know, is that one of the proposals or what? Because it we didn't, we left it in somewhat limbo and I'm not aware that it was withdrawn. Anthony. Uh, I would suggest if we want to go into detail about the roof proposal, that we leave this header as it is and add some extra detail in the proposal section on the roof. Yes, and it was the town who withdrew Okay. A request for funding specifically for that North Amherst school roof, or they're going to come back next year. So that was not our decision. Okay. Okay. 
That's All right. Yeah. So now I think we need to, um, so we can, uh, we don't, we need to fix this next yellow sentence. <laughs> so Anthony, I don't know if you have the exact number. I'm sure it's not 600,000 even. So, uh, so Sonia says it actually makes her life a little difficult if the vote is down to the cent. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, leftover left small amounts of leftover dollars will just get rolled over but if we specify to the cent i guess that's it. so uh, this so this is in fact the what we should uh, vote to put in a general reserve that is what she would like yes okay and so can you one more time for the <laughs> for the whole committee explain why we have to do this and what will happen if we don't these are this is the unspent money i'm going to tag holly in on here okay. actually <laughs> so once we make an appropriation for FY22, we're done for the year. Um, we do not have to spend all of the money. We don't have to spend to the penny. We don't have to spend every dollar. Whatever is unspent rolls over. If we don't put money into a general reserve, we can't reappropriate anything in FY22. We would have to wait till FY23. So if an additional project came up, um, the only way you could fund it would be like we did the um, municipal housing trust is through a borrowing article. If we have leftover additional money, we can put it into a reserved for a specific purpose, or we can put it into a general reserve so that we can decide to use it at a later date during FY22. Otherwise, it's tied up till 23. Excellent reason. Thank you. Anybody have questions about that? So this gives us freedom to come back. For example, if the Mill River History Trail comes back, and we want to fund it, you know, we could, we could do so. Any other questions? Uh-huh. Yeah, it, it's Andrew. Andrew. Thanks, Sarah. Um, yeah, I have, a, I have a, like a really simple, stupid question here, Holly and Anthony. Of the 600,000, just, you know, we're, we're, we're asking for a, a million to be bonded for the library. Is, is another option to like, mm -hmm use more of this money towards that so we have to bond less and is that something that we you know is that something we've considered in the past i know money's cheap so like there's not a real pressing need to spend spend it now but i'd love to hear what you think holly um i'm not exactly certain how to respond to that yes you could i i I think that that would be up to the committee and you could decide to do that. But the thing is, if we put this towards one of those borrowing articles, and then if something comes up in the next year, we don't have anything that we can do for it. Um, we could also vote at a later time to pay down one of those bonds early if we don't use this. So there, it leaves us more options, I guess, is the point. Okay. But that, that helps a lot. And I was not advocating for that. I just wanted to understand better. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. I, I was actually a sort of a suggestion that I had as well, because we had the 377 from the past fiscal year that we put into a general reserve in case we needed it. And I was sort of one of my thoughts was, why don't we use some of that? Um, but it, because rates are low and because it gives us a lot more flexibility if something else were to come up. And I would add that if, if our borrowing recommendation, if those projects go forward, we're going to be we're going to have more to pay in debt service, right? right. So, so you think of it as you know our mortgage years. squirreling away some of our some of our mortgage payments, possibly. All right, would somebody like to move that six hundred thousand dollars be placed in a general reserve? I so move. Thank you, Diana. Second. Anna, thank you. All right, any more questions on this item, Sam? I just think we should, oh, I'm sorry, on the report or on that item? No, on this particular vote, the motion on the table, oh, this, no. the general reserve. Okay, all right, then we'll have a roll call vote. Sam? Aye. Diana? Aye. David? Aye. Katie? Aye. Anna. Aye. Sarah Isinger. Aye. Robin. Aye. Andrew. Aye. 
and Sarah Marshall, aye. So that's unanimous. All right, so that's no longer yellow. <laughs> uh, before we start tweaking language, Anthony, just I see your hand, Diana, just a moment. Is there any more yellow, I guess, that we? Uh, the not, district, not the, well, the district, the sorry. Yeah, no. No, so, but wait, wait. So the history trail, you want to say add that we are tabling or that we've taken no action on this? Yeah, I'm going to create. I'll, I, I'm, I'm going to create another section that says tabled proposal okay. and put it there. All right, Diana. Yeah. So, so I was going to say. Well, let me. Can we now go to language, or are we not worried about language? No, I want to. I want to get through the yellow parts first. No. no. Okay. I thought no. you were. Nothing, nothing else, nothing else that requires action. So the general reserve we've dealt with and, okay. All right, so now we can talk about the language. Diana, what would you like to? Well, in the underneath, we recommend placing the remaining 600,000 in a general reserve, that yellow. Um, about the, um, the funds that were returned to CPA, it says, um, did not move forward due to some circumstances beyond the control of the CPA committee, I would say, or the proposers. I mean, it actually, whether a project doesn't move forward is usually due to the people who proposed it and not to the committee anyway. You see my point? Well, I. I don't know that we have to explain. I mean, <laughs> well, it, it doesn't seem to be part of our responsibility to explain why somebody else wasn't able to do what they wanted to do. I, I'm not trying to explain yeah. why. I'm just saying you can't just say a project doesn't move forward due to us. It isn't us that controls whether a project moves forward. It's the proposer, whether they get it done or not. No. But it's saying isn't it's that not, what it's saying? It's saying it's uh, not because of us. I beyond mean, our control, is that the piece? Yeah. Yeah. It was beyond the control of the CPA committee or the proposers. There are things that can happen that a proposer I, did not anticipate. So that's my comment. You can reject it. That's fine. Anthony? Uh you know, I'll, never mind. Well, how about just end it after did not move forward? That's what I was just going to say. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't okay. matter whose fault it was. It, it, All right. It just didn't happen. That's right. I can deal with that. Okay. Um, I would like to back up just, oh, Katie, go ahead. Sorry. It, this is, I think, a minor point in that same paragraph. It says, please note that on the last page of this packet, we've outlined. Um, is that just the rejected and and the tabled that will end up being there, Anthony? Uh, so no, at the uh, I didn't include it in this draft, but at the end of this, we will include uh, the spreadsheet that working That's spreadsheet. I, okay, that's what I was wondering because uh, I didn't see that, and then I wasn't sure if you were referring to this yeah. text last. There page. will actually be several spreadsheets added to the packet once it's completed. Yeah, it'll have the working spreadsheet. It'll have. Uh, the past few years of approved projects, the returned appropriations, and current open balances. Okay, so it's referring to something that's not there yet, and it's the yes. spreadsheets. Got it. Thank you. Sam? Maybe instead of last page, you could just say at the end of this uh, report, because it sounds like it's going to be several pages from what I heard, several spreadsheets. Yeah. But, the, but it is true that the last one will be the returned appropriations. Okay. Then never mind. Anthony, those who have previously been called appendices, will they be referred to as such here? Yes. Or, or well then do you is it like in appendix two or appendix three? In, is yeah. more specific? Yeah, we can do that. Number them, sure. All right. I have a comment about the first paragraph. <clears throat> um, the last sentence. It says many of these projects. <laughs> I recognize this one. Many of these projects might never be accomplished with regular operating funds in the town budget. 
Now, I don't like that for two reasons. One, because some of the projects are not, I mean, they're by private entities. They would never get operating, never get town funds. So it, it doesn't seem to apply. But also I thought this concern, CPA funds are not supposed to be supplanting operating funds anyway. So isn't this always true? I mean, do we need the sentence? I agree. Strike it. What was that? Strike it? Okay. Yeah, I, you can get rid of it, or you could say you could simply say many of these projects would never be accomplished without CPA funds. Yeah, which is more to the point, I think. Right. Yeah. <laughs> without not CPA. with the town, but without yeah, fine. Thank adopting you. Adopting CPA, yeah. Even better, even better. Yes. All right. Um, in this, in the second paragraph, the next paragraph, do we need to refer anywhere? Kind of in this body to the $50,000 that we took from the historical preservation reserve, or is that just a detail? We don't need that. It does say estimated surplus and reserved funds. Okay. It does so. note it later in, in the specific project. I, I saw that. Okay, not the specific amount though. So I, I, maybe I, I, it'll be in the append and one of the appendices. I actually did add it in here at your suggestion. Okay, so all right. Do that addition. Okay. Uh, then in the third paragraph, I would say Appendix D. We have we have outlined the funds awarded in prior years. Just to be clear. No, um, Appendix D is all about the returned appropriation. Right. Outline the funds awarded in prior year. I mean, they were from past. Oh, from years, prior years, years projects. Yeah. Awarded, outline the funds from prior projects that have been returned. No, oh, that's too much. Outline funds awarded in prior years that have been returned. Right? Okay. I see. Yeah. It works. Return to the CPA and you don't need fund even. I mean, well, you could, but. <clears throat> All right, anything more on this um, introduction from anybody? Sarah, you just unmuted yourself. Are you going to? Say yeah, I've, I've raised my hands. Um, my, I'm sorry. Questions yeah. about the rationale. Uh-huh, go ahead. Are we on there? Yeah. My, it was a global question of like, I don't, is this our approved language? I just didn't recall that this is how we position ourselves, but I'm happy if it, I, that was a question. Is this, is this how we talk about ourselves? It's, it's how it's been in the report for a few years running now. It is, okay, that's fine. Um, not, to say, not to say it's the best wording, I guess, but it's, or, or no, we shouldn't revisit it. So uh -huh. it, it does doesn't totally square with the plan that we like we rewrote the plan. I mean, I think it's fine. It just, um, you know, I just like this is not our evaluation criteria so much when we evaluate, but um, if this is the, I'm glad we, to hear that we didn't write it fully anew. I don't necessarily support rewriting it. I just had wanted to know where it came from. Okay, well, it's good to flag that because at a future meeting, we will go back to the plan and then maybe we should have these documents side by side. And Yeah, them. they should uh, square. I don't yeah. think it's like needs to be totally rewritten this year, but I, it's like a good, um, good moment to just reflect on it, maybe going yeah. forward. Good point. And then you got that, that number didn't tie in. Uh, yeah. Right, okay. That was my other major comment. Um, and then the, just a formatting issue, this is, sorry, under project details, I think all those Amherst Housing Authority, those should all just be bulleted. They were just hard, a little hard to read. Down here. Uh, oh, oh. Moving right there. Oh, here, oh. your list. I would just have bulleted those. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's actually formatted as a table, but I can, I can actually. Do no, that. up, up top. Uh, oh. oh, these. 
the the Amherst Housing Authority project. Yeah, yeah the debt good. service. That's yeah, that's actually a good idea. There, that's great. To, if I may, to me, that's really somewhat redundant in, because we have it each one there and then we have it again down at the bottom with the years. So it, it seems like we could do away with one or the other of them possibly. I agree. Maybe we oh, just yeah. add, add the dollar amount after each sentence you want to bulleted. Keep it Right, or just put 10 of 10 years, eight of 10 years, just put a little qualifier on the end of the table because it is fairly redundant. Although it does give a little- it do, You could then add in another column, which on, says for the existing affordable housing units in Amherst. I mean, you know what I, in the table down below. The table down below makes it easy to read. Yeah. It is easier to read, yeah. I, I, Forget so my comment. The table already and has then the years in it, also. Use, yeah. That the parenthetical comment is the year. Right. It's okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I kind of like the redundancy. It helped me, but I could read it quick. If it helps us, it might help others who haven't been talking about it. It, there's more explanation in the text and it's easier to read in right. the, yep. so I'd go with both. Uh, although I would say just that parenthetical comment, you may either want to put like the year in there or maybe um, Take you know, it out. year 10 of 10, year eight of 10, year eight of 10, like write it out the, the eight slash 10 that could also be a date for all of these, so. Well, but it's spelled out exactly as you say in the bullet. Yeah, no, well. I know, but I'm saying, yeah, just what, what you're doing oh, there. Oh, okay. That, that's all. Maybe, okay. maybe, just the, maybe just the first one? Year 10 of 10, and like not the slash, but I mean, those are all dates otherwise, like if, if someone saw that without context. Well, good luck with three slash, I guess March 5th now, or yeah, okay. Yeah. You want You think for everyone or just the first one? Maybe just probably make it uniform. It might be easier to make it uniform, but I, yeah, I'm not. Just widen the column. Yeah. I don't know when. Can you move it over so it doesn't go to a second line? Yes. That's what I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to do. The table is okay, sorry. Table is transparent, so it's. <laughs> I can't see well, that. Transparent we can table. That after and not waste the time here. It's a dark, so it doesn't vaporize on us. And then also maybe just write justify the numbers. Just my. My uh, mine too. <laughs> right. Those de those decimal points. Yeah. That's the accountant in me. I was going to take care of that. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Thank you. Uh, if you, if you trust me to fix this later. I will. Yep. Uh, oh, we will. We trust. I'm sure, it can be fixed. I have no doubt. You can feel free to keep talking. Yeah. Uh, well, okay then. If. Can we move on to the project descriptions then? Well, I just, um, a minor point um, on the debt service. Are we there? Um, I, the Amherst, this seems to me to need an apostrophe S. The Amherst Housing Authorities in Whalen Apartment. It just, it was too many nouns together without any relationship between them in a way. And I would suggest that up in the first first line too. I'm not sure. The very first bullet. Anthony. Yeah, yeah. I think that makes sense there too. I agree. Okay. All right. Moving forward. Actually. Yeah, I Anthony. Okay. Um, so we went right past this table. And <laughs> I yeah. get worried about this table every year. Does, <laughs> everyone under, does everyone understand what it's representing here? Yeah. I don't. I, maybe if I, I, I almost didn't want to go back to it because I'm afraid we're going to puzzle over it for too long. But is everyone? Well, I, I do understand this, but I have to say, I my mind uh, wants to see an, an additional table or at least statement. At least I would like to, so I'll run this by people. Because I think about the 
the like what we're doing with our cash, right? So I would say um, that we're recommending one point two four six six two two dollars a uh, million dollars in new projects, three hundred eighty eight thousand one four eight in debt service, and twenty five thousand dollars in administration. That's like for things we're doing this new things this year, right? And then on top of that, we have two borrowing articles. And that seems to me to focus on what are, what are, the, what are the decisions we've made. It doesn't roll in the debt service into each category so much, but maybe that just appeals to me. Can you clarify again what you're saying, Sarah? Are you suggesting adding a brief summary of the three categories in addition to- No, it was, well, it wasn't um, even the like historic preservation versus community housing, just new project awards for new projects yeah. for debt service and for the administration, administrative fee. Okay, so it will all add up to the same number but it separate pulls out the total debt service to show what is being spent on new projects. It would be informative to those reading it if it was clear what it was referring to. I like that addition, Sarah. I do too. Yeah, I did too. Anthony, do you know what I mean or should I uh, email it to you? I, I think maybe, uh... Simplest way is if you email me the change you'd like to make. It sounds like it has. Or it's an addition, not a change. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like it has consensus. So. Okay. I think that, and, and just to be clear, that I think that what Anthony was asking, and this was a question that I asked, because in my accountant mind, percentages should add up to 100, and that <laughs> third column yes. does not add up to 100. And that's where I was like, where are these numbers coming from? How can you have 100 and, you know, 60%? <laughs> Should we have the dollar figure along with the percent then? So, I mean, if I, the way I understood this, maybe I'm wrong, but like for the first row, the 37 and a half percent is, is of is, the, you know, 25.1% of the $1.1 $1 .1 million that's going to community housing, 37 and a half percent of that relative to the 416. I'm sorry, like the, the, the share of the 1.1 is 37% of the four. That's four correct. Figures. And that's what confused me. Yeah. And if, I didn't, if, I didn't, there is an asterisk down there at the bottom, which I did not see. And then once Anthony told me, I was like, okay, now I got it. <laughs> it's not, I, I, I'm with you as well, Holly, that the percentages, I wonder if just a fourth column that just has the, the dollar figure in addition to the percentage might be. A useful way of reconciling that. Mm. And actually, if you put the fraction in that you get the 37.5%, that would be helpful to people who are looking at this cold. So it is because we, we are required to spend a minimum of 10% in each of these categories. And so right. that is just showing that we clearly did. Yeah. Um, spend a minimum of 10% of our new revenue of 1.11 million. Yeah. So it, it does make sense. It just took me a second to get there. Dan? If it took you a second, Holly, it took me 10 seconds. And that's why I'm just saying showing the fraction, but okay. Sam? It seems to me that the issue or the subject under discussion is the distinction between total appropriation percentage and percentage of new revenue. At the bottom, we reference the new revenue is estimated to be 1.1 million. Yeah. Uh, perhaps where it says total appropriation and percent new revenue, we could either at the bottom with the asterisks or at the top reference those two numbers. Uh, I don't know if that would make it easy or not, but it seems to me the total appropriation percentage adds up to 100, the other one doesn't. And um, it's the distinction between total appropriation and new revenue that's the, the issue. Am I correct? Well, I, I have a quest. I have a question. I mean, yes, that is the. But but um, if we do, we only have to tell the reader that have we satisfied the ten percent requirement? Yes. You know, rather than put in a you know, have we satisfied the 
minimum, whatever, you know, yes, 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 yes. Do we need to put in these specific percentages? You know, maybe it's just confusing or just say somewhere in the text, you know, it, these recommendations fully satisfy the requirement to spend 10% of new revenue in each of the three categories, four categories, one, two, three, three. categories. The, Sorry. the new revenue percentage does not appear to add up to be 100. I think that's the source of the confusion. Your comment would involve that. But certainly. Well, that's why I was saying showing the fraction would make it clear that it, that it works. But I'm wondering if anybody really needs this. Right. As saying. opposed to just, yes, we did it. You know? Yeah. Right, you could make that column say 10% minimum and met, and then just put a check, 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 yes. instead of actually showing a figure that, and that's, again, that's just my account in mind. Percentages are supposed to add up to 100. So I, I was, when I'm, I first- I'm with you, Holly, I, I, I get it. I, I can make it work, but it didn't jump out at me how it worked. Anthony. Got it. So to me, if a column is going to go, it should be percent total appropriation because this percentage doesn't it's not a useful number like why do but we why do we care about percent total appropriation but isn't that the 10 percent? that's how we know whether we hit the 10 percent minimum no, no it's a 10 percent of new revenue that we care about that's okay. right is there a reason we don't have a column for um new revenue for community housing and then debt service for community housing would that make it clearer? Those are those those aren't really. But it still doesn't tie in with the new revenue estimate. All right. The the one point six five nine is not new revenues. That's our spending. Correct. Right. So right. maybe we don't need either one of those. <laughs> either one of those percentages. <laughs> we just don't need those two columns, and we just replace it with. Meets the ten percent minimum obligation? Yes. Or or just say so. Do you plan to get back? I I'm looking at the line above it. Um. Something like that. And I I was trying to trying to wrap my head around that line. Well, can I recommend a change? Because it took me a while to. For, for FY 2022, CPAC recommends an appropriation of blah. Um, that, in, that includes new projects, debt service and administration administrative costs just say that okay and then that explains all right and then it's all in here so anthony the only thing uh, sarah hold, hold on holly I, I was just going to say, Anthony's getting rid of that asterisk at the bottom now, FY22 new revenue, because that's not pertinent here anymore. Okay. Dave, yes, go ahead. Yes. Why, why are we removing the percentages, percent of the expenditures in the various categories? Because they seem to create more confusion than value, at least several of them. Confusing at least several how of them. it's showing how it's allocated, showing how the resources, our resources are spent, the percentage mm -hmm. of monies that's spent in each of those categories. True. It, Just it a would. question, don't. Yeah, well. I mean, it's easy if somebody wants to know it, it's easy to calculate. I also believe, isn't it on 
and correct me if I'm wrong, Anthony, isn't it on the um, the spreadsheet? The spreadsheet that will be in the appendices anyways. It is. Yeah. So we just hit the highlights here. <laughs> uh, you know, again, it's up to you guys, but I think it's clearer. Sam? Uh, to, to Dave's point, um, if we did include the percentage of total appropriation uh, and did not put back the percentage of new revenue, it would display how much we're appropriate spending for each category. And your added comment, Sarah, about these meeting the 10% obligations, would it would mirror the intent of the original display. So if there are others that agree with Dave's comment regarding the percentages, I don't think it would add confusion if we added the percentage of total appropriation back. I don't know, that's my thought. Who would like to, we don't need a formal vote. Who would like to see, I guess, the first column removed column restored, which is just percentage of the total um, recommendation? Yeah. I I'm happy. Just, just raise your hand if you would like to see that one back. One, two, three, four. Well, Dave presumably does. So. Okay. <laughs> All right, Anthony, you can just put that one back. But I think we leave the new revenue part out of the table, just as written. Leave it as written. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Did it revert back to other changes as well? Yeah, he backed up through the changes. So take out new so take out new revenue but leave total appropriation? Yes, and remove the footnote, but but I would like to see the text that you had added go back, which is Yeah. 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 Why not? or the above recommendations or whatever. Yeah, I, I yeah. I'm sorry, I'm going to suggest one thing because unless people are in the weeds, they won't know the connection between those two sentences. I would say these recommendations satisfy the obligation to spend at least 10% of new revenue. Much clearer. To us, it's clear, and even if it isn't, we've done good, as good a job as we can. Okay, I think that's, and people can look in the spreadsheets for the details. If they I, and I, I do think it's better than just having the other column. That that was mind boggling. <laughs> I remember going well, around. It, it's because it didn't add up to 100%. Yep. This is right and appropriate. I think it's better. Okay. All right, let's move on then to the project description. Okay, wait a minute, I gotta see. All right, so we've got the apostrophes. <clears throat> so the donut is going to get moved to a different yeah. category, right? I'll do, I'll do that now if that's all right. Okay, sure. Just tabled. I guess it's already, So we didn't end up rejecting any. Uh, oh, right. I, yeah, I could have just changed the title. But. Yeah. 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 And that was nine zero zero. Yeah. About. Did we actually vote on that? No, no, sorry. I mean the general reserve. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we didn't 
David, I'm gonna mute you. You can you can unmute yourself when that noise stops. Okay. So you can remove the blue on the admin feed. No. Okay. All right. Does anybody have any comments or changes to suggest about these little descriptions? All the all the dollar numbers are now correct. Okay. So. I didn't check all the votes, but I gather Holly did. Okay, so now we're talking about community housing? Well, any of them. Okay, so am I allowed to do English or do you want me not to, uh, to bother you guys with that at this point? Or um, I, in community housing, I didn't think the, there was parallel construction in the last sentence. And I would change it to ACC will pr provide case management to assist beneficiaries in obtaining permanent housing, increasing their income, and addressing their housing obstacles. That's parallel. Okay. Okay. That's good. All right. And then I'm going on to the library. There's an uh and a the where the the should be struck. Yep, got that. Okay. Can I, 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 can I have a quick go back yeah. on the housing? Sorry yeah. to interrupt, I know I'm not on video. Yeah, it's just the each works, each, each worth up to $950, that's per month, right? We may want to have, yeah. just put that timing in there, so. Yeah, sure. Significant. Yep. It's maybe per individual per month, really, I guess, right? Is that it says each. It says each, yeah. Worth each. Six, each worth up to. Yeah, okay, that's good. Any other tweaks? Wave, um, wave if I'm not seeing your hand. So. I, okay, you, all right. Do Go I, ahead. I'm, okay, I'm going to speak and you can tell me to be quiet. Um, for the Town of Amherst North Library Wall Repair, it's repairs be <laughs> No? See it. <laughs> alterations, not alternations. Yeah. Well, that's a good one. Um, but also uh, repairs being planned for the library, not considered, I thought was better verbiage. Or undertaken. I mean, if it's... Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Okay. Um. Okay. Can I say in the steps, I don't think you need a hyphen between heavily and used. Okay, and then for the roof restoration town, um, at Town Hall, it says to fund this from the Historic Preservation Reserve. It wasn't totally funded from that. Right, so partly, it's part, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it just to be accurate, partly right. is good or whatever. We fund this in part from the- Yeah. I don't have any other tweaks. Sam. They're gonna have access to the initial application submittals, correct? Yep. Okay. Yeah, they stay, I think they stay there's forever. <laughs> yep. And the, and there's a and there's a link in the introduction to the page Perfect. where they're Because they may on a couple of these want to look at them. Yeah. No doubt. All right, I have nothing. No other comments. So Anthony, I feel like there was something you were 
Oh, maybe not. You're just going to put updated proposals onto the web page, right? Subsequent information, yeah, like I'll, I'll add the I'll add the updates back to the page. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, are we ready to vote on this, Sam? I think we're back to Diana's original uh, question or inquiry regarding the the number of proposals submitted, reviews, and tabled. I think we oh, need yeah. to fund those totals. It adds up to 12. 12, I, it now reads 12 proposals were submitted. One was rejected as ineligible by town staff. One was withdrawn by the proposer. One has been tabled and nine are recommended for support by the committee. That adds up to 12. And I can that. confirm that they add up properly, everyone. The rejected was the historical society. The tabled was the um, History Trail, the Dona Trail, mm -hmm. and the third one withdrawn was, was the consulting services for the housing trust. Yeah, very good. And uh, initially, we had also had the um, the trust proposal for the eight hundred thousand dollar trust proposal included in that number, but that is now taken out. It's now in FY21, so it's not even mentioned here. What, a, what about the north? Eight, five, six, seven, the, the roof. The and the, yeah. That, that, was, was, I mean, that, was, that was submitted as part of one proposal. Oh, so it was, it was amended. Then it was. Yeah, I really amended. would consider that an amendment. Yeah. Rather than we reference in here the consulting services that was. If they withdraw it, we don't need to mention it. We don't consider it it's <laughs> the Histori I historically the reports have not mentioned withdrawn proposals we okay. we could if we wanted to i only bring it up because as i just did a quick count i came up one short and it was that consulting services yeah. uh, and it's posted so you might as well leave it in well the thing well the thing is this is going to the count this is a recommendation to the council right it, it doesn't really feel germane to the council that there was a proposal there was a proposal they can't even they can't even consider it. It, it doesn't. We don't to need me, to tell make, <laughs> bother I with it. I agree, Anthony. It's all right. As long as it adds up, I don't care. <laughs> all right then. It adds up to eleven. It adds up to twelve. Um, one plus one plus one plus nine. Say that again, Anthony. One right. plus one plus one plus nine. I don't mean to be. That, doesn't that include the one withdrawn? Yes. Which is not listed, correct? Yes. I don't mean to be pedantic, but it adds up to 11 in the report, doesn't it? 12 proposals were submitted. One was rejected as ineligible by town staff. One was listed. Listed by the proposer. One has been tabled and okay. nine are recommended. 12. 11, 11 are only, only 11 are detailed here. Okay. Uh, because one was withdrawn. I'm sure they will understand it. Uh, if they count, they'll, you know, I doubt they would count to say, hey, where's the missing one? But we could indicate one was drawn by the proposer and not referenced here uh, to avoid the anyone that might be counting. Well, we also don't. I'm good either way. I just wanted to raise that subject that, you know, the names of 11 appear even though 12 are referenced. So I'm good either way. I mean, Sam, you could, if you, in that, that sentence where Anthony is, 12 proposals were submitted, one was rejected as ineligible by town staff. Of the 11 remaining, one was withdrawn from the proposed, one has been tabled. I mean, if you wanted to do that. The, or the 11 way. remaining are listed, you know, whatever. I'm good either way. I just wanted to make sure everyone was understanding that one of them appears nowhere in the report, even though 12 are referenced. Point. So I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, I, I think putting in of the remaining 11, one was withdrawn by the proposal, one has been tabled and nine. It's easier math for people to follow. So I, I would support that. That's fine, let's do it. Is that okay, Anthony? I know you're pulling your hair out. <laughs> of the remaining? 11. 11. Mm 
one was withdrawn by the proposer. Of the remaining 10, one was tables. <laughs> no, I... no, this is fine because yeah. these are, are all on the website. Like the 12 um, days of Christmas, except with proposals. <laughs> which one's number five? All right, are we ready to vote? Yes. I move that we accept the report as amended. Is there a second? Sarah Eisinger, thank you. All right, so we'll have a roll call vote to approve this CPA report to town council for fiscal 2022. Sam. Aye. Diana. Aye. Dave. You were muted. I, okay. <laughs> I, you see, thumbs up, right? <laughs> okay, Anna. You have to be Anna. audible. Oh, you have to be audible. It's the governor's rule. You have to unmute, Dave. I will unmute. You're, you're, you're yeah. still muted. Push the space bar. Hold the ah, space bar. There you go. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Yep. Okay. I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> Enthusiastically support it. Okay. Uh, Anna, sorry, I forgot if I called on you. Aye. Okay, Robin. Aye. Sarah. Aye. Katie. Aye. Andrew. Aye. And Sarah Marshall, myself. Aye. Okay, thank you. Nine zero. Approved. Thank you, everybody. All right, um, we do have a couple more things on the agenda, but I don't think this should take long because um, we don't really have any more business for tonight. And we've done the, the most important part of our work in really stellar time and fashion. So I think we should all give ourselves a pat on the back. These reports will go to council probably tomorrow. <laughs> I think council meets on Monday and they will, if they do as happened in previous years, they will refer them immediately to the finance committee who will go over them and then make a recommendation back to town council. Um, but I would uh, like to put you on notice that I'm likely to want to have a, a meeting in January. Um, and I don't know, Anthony will figure, <laughs> I don't know if you send out doodle polls or how you make it happen. Um, hopefully Thursdays will still be convenient, but I'm not wedded to this day. So we'll find something that works, um, especially if the, the uh, district one uh, group brings back a, a revised proposal on the history trail, because uh, then we would, I think, want to act on that in short order because I think they also have another application. So it's, time would be of the essence for them. So I'm, I'm hoping they can make it happen. But there are some other matters that we'll need to talk about. Um, one is <laughs> what changes we would recommend back to, to Sean and others about uh, the timeline for this process next year. Uh, I think we're all in agreement that it was very compressed. And while that was, it worked okay for members of the committee, it was pretty hard on proposers and some things got a little short changed. So we can discuss calendar. We can also discuss what kinds of uh, support or information coaching communication we can offer um, to community members who are not who don't do this every year and don't know the ins and outs sarah would um, it be helpful oh sorry go ahead go ahead Anna. sarah would it be helpful to come to that meeting with ideas a little bit more spelled out or do you want to have us start that discussion from from zero i would All encourage you to bring your bring your ideas you know i'm Telling you, telling you now, and I guess I can right. summarize that also in an email. Um, uh, one thing, though, we could act on now is um, to to put another, uh, see if we can get another one or two committee members onto the little subcommittee, a little task force 
on communication and publicity that Sam and I are on together. Uh, Nate Buddington was on it also, but he's departed. So we would welcome any one or two people who would um, like to, since it's less than a quorum, it's not open meeting, we can just confer about ideas for um, better publicizing and maybe supporting, you know, maybe some ideas that we bring back to the whole committee about. Outreach. Yeah, about outreach. So does that appeal to anybody? Would anyone like to be part of that? It's not, it's not onerous. <laughs> Sarah, is it outreach before the fact or after the fact or both? It's meant to be before the fact. Okay. I All mean, right, then, I'm, then I'm in. Okay. Yeah, I'm also interested in, in that. Thank you. That's it. Katie, did you also have your hand up or were you waving? We can't have, I mean, it's, it's one, hold on, because we can't have, we don't want to have a quorum. <laughs> So I, I wasn't off. I wasn't putting my hand up. I was scratching my head. Oh, okay. Thank you. So not more than four. Yeah. So so Dave, were you volunteering, or did yeah, you? Have sure. a, yes. Okay. So hmm, now I can drop. It's not oh, a problem. All right. So we have Sam and Dave and Robin and me. Thank you. That's great. Um, so maybe maybe I'll let. Sam, uh, send out an email or suggest a, a way forward for us. Holly. Um, and this might be slightly premature, mm -hmm. but um, I am also a member of the Participatory Budgeting Committee, which has to have a recommendation to the Town Council by July 1st, I believe. And I just wanted to sort of put you guys on notice that they will be talking or would like to at some point in the near future set up some times to talk to the CPA committee about proposals and advertising and how people can participate and how we can make people participate um, better. So if there's going to be a subcommittee of CPA that's going to be working on that, just to kind of give you the heads up that they're going to want to hear your ideas and they're going to maybe have some <laughs> ideas for you as well. Um, it is something that will be the participatory budgeting commission is looking to increase participation in all aspects of town budget. And this is one place where they think that we may be able to um, get on the same page, I guess. Yeah, so okay. just kind of letting you guys know that that is something that is going to be happening in the next few months probably as well. Thank you. Is maybe, at, it doesn't have to be now, but if you can tell me who's on that committee or who we might be in contact with. Yeah, they're going to uh, be reaching out to uh, like um, a few committees, the JCPC committee, the oh, CPA okay. committee and the, and the um, CPA committee. Um, in the, you know, it, it's part of our timeline as well to get ideas from these other committees. Okay. Okay. So we'll let them. We've got some, and my Please. guess is we'll accelerate here uh, since we've been so busy since September. <laughs> uh, Nate departed and Sarah had to address a compressed time schedule here. <laughs> so right. we haven't had time for much we else. We have some ideas, but we, we're hoping to. Uh, become more regular again. Right, Diana. Just wondering if the Mill River project would be something that could be done with participatory budgeting, which is a totally different animal and wouldn't have the same restrictions that um, the CPA coalition uh, would have. I just throw that out there. Um, there might be some money that way. I really have no idea. <laughs> I really can't comment on that at the moment either because we're not sure that we're going to be able to have available funds and that's sort of something that is, oh. is we're working out right. at sure. as well. <laughs> Got hit. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Um, and lastly, we do keep mentioning it. We got to, we got to finish the, the, uh, the CPA plan 
okay, which is a document that was in the works all last year, it didn't quite get finished and we haven't had a chance to finish it. Um, so I'm hoping there are really only a few areas that we need to address, but of course we also have several sets of new eyes. So um, I will try to get, or Anthony somehow will make, make it accessible to everybody. And I don't know yet if we'll take that up at our immediate next meeting, but we will start to, we're, we're, going, we're inching in that direction. Okay. I think Sarah, the one issue in that plan that will be of, you know, the time issue affiliated will, will be the actual schedule that you referenced. That's the one item that will be, uh, that won't be minor uh, of it. So yes. Just... Yeah. And it's a little bit tricky if, if, if our schedule is going to change every yeah. year, we don't really want to have to have our plan immediately outdated. Um, so does that, if anybody else has any suggestions for topics that um, we should take up, what now that we will have a little more time to breathe, um, you know, raise them now or send them to me. Okay. I'll Robin, send Robin, of course. <laughs> Robin, I'm sorry. I no, that's okay. <laughs> I, have, I have more than just the one. No, I had, um, yeah. but, um, and I, I take your suggestions. Yeah, I just had, I have a small suggestion about um, more effectively promoting the exemptions to the CPA surcharge. But I also wanted to add in a discussion around understanding uh, what supplanting is. Right. Um, and then whether or not we need a more formal um, matrix and guidelines on which to evaluate our proposals. Okay, and, and then harmonize those as Sarah E. pointed out earlier with, uh, yep. with our other public statements about how we evaluate. Yep. Yeah, I thought it, Katie. I just, I wanna, since I'm new, just wanna understand Robin, what you said right there at the end and what you were saying the two Sarahs, I, I, I don't think I've seen the CPA plan, so maybe it will all become super clear. Right. Um, but were you talking about like a, a rubric, Robin, of that's sort of what I was, guy? Yeah, that, that's what I was hoping to say, to, to move toward a rubric way of um, grading and reviewing proposals. And Robin and I have talked about that previously. Yeah. Um, that I would be very much interested and happy to help with that if that is of interest to the group. Yes, definitely. Um, so maybe that's, I will also mention that in, <laughs> in email. Yeah, we really do, I think, need to have some time for reflecting on this whole process. Um, you know, not just how the community engages with us, but then how we, how we tackle all the, all the proposals we get. Robin, though, could you explain for for everybody, though, the whole exemption thing? I, I'm not sure everybody even is aware of that. Sure. Last um, last year, um, I mean, it came up for me um, personally that I, because of the nature of my job, um, I realized there was such a thing as an exemption from the CPA surcharge um, for uh, low income Households. There's different exemptions that communities can offer, and it all depends on what your community is. But when I went to, because I suspected I might qualify, when I went to investigate it, I was <laughs> told there wasn't, and then I had to write back and say I think there is based on <laughs> this information. And then they said yes that that there is, and then the form isn't clear. There's nothing on the website, and I haven't checked my um, tax bills recently, but I kind of recall not even seeing the surcharge on the paper tax bill. So um, I was thinking all this and then when I was poking around the CPA Coalition website, they had a fabulously succinct thing on, oh, lots of communities want to promote the fact that there is this exemption and um, they often do it with the flyer with your tax bill, which seems like the most obvious um, um, solution. So we can talk about that next time, but I'll, and I can circulate those that little bit of information, but that's, um, I felt that it was not transparent and it should be. So the idea being that perhaps this committee will make a formal request or recommendation yes. to the assessor's office or to whomever would need to. Whomever, yes, right. yeah. 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 To make that happen, yeah. Okay, thank you for 
you're reminding me. Holly, you look like you want to say something. Well, I, uh, for several years, I worked in the tax collector's office. Okay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> One thing that I can say is there's two different types of tax bills that come out. One is your preliminary tax bill, and it does not have the same detailed information as your actual tax bill. It is 100% clearly broken out on the actual tax bill. Okay. On the, um, I believe it's the August and November bill, which is your preliminary. It is not broken out, and it is not required to be so because it's a preliminary tax bill. Um, but on the second bill, it will be clearly listed for you. Okay, thank you. So if somebody requests and receives an exemption, is it basically just you take that certain amount off your next bill just all at once? Holly, do you know, or is it? I would not know the answer to that question. Exemptions, I'm not, I'm not up on okay. that through the assessor's office. I didn't look okay. there. <laughs> um, anyway, that, so, but that would definitely be a, um, I'm sure much appreciated by parts of the community. <laughs> yeah, there are yeah. other towns that do that, Robin, as you indicated. So it's an intriguing subject, distinct from outreach for solicitations and applications, as opposed to, I guess, a perceived benefit to the community uh, at the expense, literally, I suppose, of the budget of the town. <laughs> <laughs> or, or one can look at it as, as, as uh, your, your right to an yeah. exemption. <laughs> right. Very right. Uh, sure. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be a secret. Yeah. It yeah. It shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be hard to, to realize it. That's my point. Okay. All right. Anybody else have at, right now? Think of anything that we should take up. Another Robin. Did I? Did I say this already? Oh, um, no, I didn't. And I'm sorry. Um, I was just trying to figure out how to articulate this and I'll probably stumble a little bit, but um, I think this came up with the, the question of the slate roofs. I'd like more clarification on when it's okay for us, it whether it's within our, um, our mission or to question whether the full amount of an award should go to the town. Um, and I felt that this last round, it's, and I won't go into, to, it seemed like it was, it, it, I wasn't sure if we have that. Latitude? That yeah, latitude and whether we're, we're tasked with that essentially too. So I just like, I'd like to have a discussion around that that clarifies what our role is in terms of determining the amount of an award and I can go into detail more at the next meeting but Robin and that was also around like what is a capital improvement versus what is a CPA responsibility the supplanting. Supplanting. yeah that's yeah that's the, that's, the, that's related to supplant right? yeah yeah okay all right uh well if you if other things occur to you email them to me um, otherwise, I believe we are done for the evening. Sam, you waved. I don't know if I you was saying to... I was given the the and we're done. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> no need. No. Yeah, we have twenty five minutes right. to kill everybody. No. no. <laughs> and I okay. have a puppy who wants to go for a walk. So <laughs> no, I think I, I will think... move. Can I move to close the meeting? Yes, you moved to, and somebody said we don't even really need to vote on it. So is that right? Anthony, you're muted. I am honestly not sure if it requires a motion. I suspect it doesn't, but I would have to consult my Robert's rules. Well, can I say, does anyone object to adjourning the meeting? Raise your hand. <laughs> Andrew, if you're objecting, I... Uh, you know I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, uh, we're done. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Thank you. The meeting is adjourned at 736. Happy holidays. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. So Bye. Right, I'll send in Thank you. to you guys along with Alrighty. Sarah at some point. Take okay. Care. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you. Good evening, Anthony. Have a good night.